Hey YouTube, it's your boy Histron from H3D Concepts, back at it again, as promised. And I'm here today with the 3D interior design for our previous post. So if you haven't as yet, hit that subscribe button, show some support, and let's get straight into it. Here we have the exterior again. And I'm going to use the section plane tool to cut a section so I can see inside. And then I'm going to visit the AutoCAD file to get the dimensions for the kitchen counter layout. And then I'll plug that into the SketchUp file. Now that the counter layout is complete, uh, what I did was to copy and paste a similar kitchen layout, um, however it's a bit longer. So what I'm going to do here is to basically shrink it down to fit this layout that I have.
now our shrink is complete. Um, we just made the kitchen counter component and then put it in place. We'll have to cut a section plane again um, and then put the counter in place. That little section has a space that you see around to the corner to the left there. That's where the refrigerator will be going. Um, we'll just get that from the 3D warehouse. That's where we get most of our components, um, furniture, items, etc. Now that the counter is complete, I will go ahead and create the wall cabinets. Um, the measurements that you see here are from the AutoCAD file. Um, so basically I'll create two double door cabinets right here. And I will put two floating shelves in the middle just to really give a bit of space. Um, seeing that we have the pipe or the faucet right below. So we can add some decorative plants or whatsoever right there. Let me start to apply the materials to the cabinet, um, seeing that I'm in this era. Um, it is very important that we capture all the visible areas with their respective material or texture, if you like to put it that way. Um, this will allow us um, to properly select the different materials once the file has been loaded into the rendering program. So this area is a small seating area right where you enter this section of the house. Um, so what I did, I added a slot wall to the blank wall right there. And I'm going to copy this single chair from this layout that I got from the 3D bureaus. Because um, as you can see, it's a very small space, so uh, we can't add much. I think I'm going to add a planter right next to it that I also got from the 3D bureaus. There we go. Um, I'm going to scale it down a bit. And as I said, this space is a bit small, so I really can't add too much to it to cluster the space. 
so I have to really be specific with the fixtures and the furniture that I choose to put in the space. Now here we have one of the bedrooms and remember ladies and gentlemen we get most if not all of our components aka fixtures and fittings from the 3D warehouse um, that we've showed you in our previous videos. Remember peeps, if you are loving this video, um, I would really appreciate if you could hit that like button and share and subscribe to the channel. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Let me take this time to apologize to those who are expecting to see the full interior design for this house design. However, only the ground floor proposed extension was done. Um, this colour because upstairs is pretty much the same layout as the ground floor. No need to worry though, I have a lot more lovely designs and content to share with you guys. Um, in my next video, I will be showing you how I took this house design from SketchUp um, into the rendering program and to final render. So stay tuned, hit that bell notification so you can be notified once I've shared new content.